Do you know that there are 11 million job openings in this country that pay $75,000 a year, that require six weeks of training, that require muscular labor or using your hands? College students learn exactly how his captains come at college. True though, I, I, I still won't honestly say 100% college is a scam because we are getting knowledge and I don't think any knowledge is a scam. But guys, let's go straight into this. All right. Uh, I just want to talk to you about that book. Uh, it was a good segue. Oh, did you read it? No. Oh, okay. But I want your thoughts, like, okay. just face to face. Um, why do you think college is a scam? Okay. So, um, half of this audience, if you get a job, will get a job that doesn't require a college degree. 41% of kids that enter college will not graduate. And the vast majority of kids, 60 to 70% that go to college, I believe study things that are completely worthless, meaningless, and don't enrich society at all. But is that the, is that the fault of the student or the college? Because I looked in the stats for this, it's usually because they either don't have the finances to support themselves going to college, they don't, um, they have mental health problems that lead them to dropping out or stress or their family's not supporting them. So is that the fault of college that they pick bad degrees? Is that the fault of the college that they can't support themselves, right? It's like getting a gym membership and then saying, well, you know, I don't wanna actually go work out. It's the fault of the gym. So a good question. So first, the 41% of kids that drop out, uh, the federal government will fully underwrite any four-year college through FAFSA, you know that, through a student loan. Meaning, so if anyone has financial difficulty, that's not really a thing. The federal government will fully grant you your loan to any four-year university, right? So you might, have, you might not want to take on that student loan burden. You might not want to take that on, but that's number one. Number two, I can't speak to the mental health issues. I doubt that 41% of the kids that graduate in that number all have mental health issues, but maybe that's the case. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know that number. Um, but let's talk about the institution itself. So everyone in the audience here, how many of you have had to take classes that are a waste of time that you wish you didn't have to take that are a waste of money and that every single hand goes up look around look around look around no, look around they're scamming every kid in this audience they are forcing them to take classes that make them poorer that take up their time in order to get the credential that is a institutional scam and and by the way every other part of life is all about your own customization your Netflix account, how you get your burrito bowl, from how you dress, your Amazon cart is you are in charge. But you come to college and they say you must go take these three, four, five classes that are very expensive, especially for you out-of-state students, to go further into debt, study things that don't matter, to find jobs that don't exist. That sounds like a scam. At least in my personal experience, right? Like I, maybe some colleges, I would say... What are you studying? Are you studying? I'm studying economics. Great, okay. Um, and what I would say is that I have a great levity and choices of classes I want to take, even if like there's a bunch of general education classes, I have a great flexibility in the class I want to take. It's up to the student if they want to take meaningless classes given their um, credit limit. Okay, but I mean, I would just speculate that this school still has specific criteria of classes, right? Am I correct? Yeah, you have to take a diversity class. That sounds like a scam. Well, they are robbing you to take a diversity class. It's actually not what you typically think. I, I think. I there's... mean, I'm taking. Uh, is it true? Do you guys have to take a diversity class? No, no. This is this is true. This, oh, okay. this is true. All right. So that's a scam. Like, let's be clear. Diversity class scam. Can you define what a scam is? Um, when you are, you are getting ripped off of your with your money, your time, your resources, either beyond what is a market rate or against your will. So I'll give you an example. If you guys want to fly to New York and Spirit Airlines says we're going to charge you $2,500 for a one-way ticket, I think we all, all, all could agree flying Spirit Airlines for $2,500 is a scam. Like, you know it when you see it. Yeah. I mean, it depends on how you view the worth of college. Like, if you... The Federal, the federal Reserve for San Francisco gave a... Um, released a newsletter discussing the actual finances um, behind is college actually worth it? And they found that by age 40, you recoup all, the, uh, the average student recoups all their costs. If they graduate. If, if they graduate, and even accounting for that, other economists um, also state. No, so that, that's an important study. If you take out the top 10%, that's not the case. So the top 10% of what? Top 10% of graduates and income earners. So the top 10% end up flourishing with a college degree. The other 90% do not.
Do you know that there are 11 million job openings in this country that pay $75,000 a year, that require six weeks of training, that require muscular labor or using your hands? 11 million job openings. Now, a lot of you guys are in college because you've been pushed into college saying that you must get the piece of paper, you might get the piece of paper, when there are very, there are good paying jobs, 11 million of them, but either your society, your parents, or your own choices are, no, I want to go to college, I want to go after that piece of paper. My contention is that there are way better options out there for a lot of students. Not every student, but almost every, a lot of other students. Charlie, I think um, a part of your core rhetoric, there, there's actually some real truth there that like, I think a lot of, there's people who are getting really just pressured to go to college even if they make poor choices. I'm just saying that even while you're in college, you can make better choices to make yourself a better I totally candidate. agree. Do you think most people do? It, it, I know some that are making great choices. Okay. I know some that are making terrible choices. The, the, so let's think about this. Why do you think, so, let's just say most make terrible choices? Would you say that's the case? I'll give you 40 to 60. Why do you think that is? Maybe because the institution incentivizes bad choices. It's easy to coast and still graduate. It's easy just to check the boxes, right? It's, it's not an institution designed around excellence. It's around let's get you through the mill as quickly as possible, get the piece of paper, pay your bill. Thank you very much. But do you think that the actual the culture around students going to college could change instead around their decision making? I think we need way less kids going to college. The institution itself is so broken, let's be clear. Forced diversity classes, DEI, all that stuff, it's nonsense. If it was really, college really should be closer to what Hillsdale College is, which is about wisdom, beauty, truth, goodness, not just about job preparedness. But that, we've lost that completely. If, if it's about doctors, lawyers, engineers, and the skills, of course. But you know that. It's way beyond that. I mean, uh, people going to, uh, not to pick on you, but you're studying economics. That's terrific. That's a good reason to go to college. Um, it's not the best reason, I'll be honest, but it's a good reason, right? I mean, economics is a serious discipline. It's a real science. You know, we need people really rigorously studying that, so. Yeah. Well, guys, this, this is the reason. And I'll, I'll say this. College is not to say it's calm. like you need college like depends where you're studying though because that's one of my friends i see like in my school i saw like i think there are like 50 people studying hr and i was like what are you going to do to resolve when you finish and so they are like after your service i will mm, think of something to do my life most of them see there was a girl i was talking with and she was like for what did she study logistics? And I was asking her, what are you going to do with your result when you finish? Go in the hundred, I was so passionate with, I might be wasting my time here. Like, I really want to know what I'm doing with my life. Like, I really don't want to waste my time. I only get it, I'm going to give you to five. So, I didn't want to use my resources very, very well. And I asked her, she was like, she's going to be making, bro, the money she called was not worth it. Like, I feel I'm making her salary after four years now. And I'm like, how are you going to pay your house rent? Like, <laughs> that is the first question I asked her because it's wow. Money want to make a year. Like, if I was not going to school and I set you down and planned my life very well, I'll make it in a month. And I was like, how are you going to do this in a year? And how are you going to pay your house? And she was like, she's going to stay with her parents. And I was like, okay, fair enough. And her parents are fifty, so the only thing you have to think about is transportation to work and back. So I'm like, how are you gonna buy a car? Like, how are you planning your life? Like, she's a girl though, she's gonna get married. Like, she's gonna get married soon and I feel the responsibility will be on the man, but, bro, I see man you're still doing that course and you're gonna see, I'm gonna be earning how much? Like, college is the scum, yes. <laughs> but I feel college is there to educate you. I really feel, yeah, you're gonna choose what you wanna choose that education to do. There are people who, like, just a class, we give them an idea to build a company. Like, we have people like that. And I honestly believe that college will make you network with people that have great ideas. College will still slow some people down because I honestly believe that if I was not in college, I would be way, way more than I am right now. Like, I think I'll be farther. Like, I honestly believe college is slowing me down. I really want to leave the environment I am right now, I really want to travel out, like, I really want to leave my environment right now. But, like, I'm stick to it because I have to make my mom proud. <laughs>
But guys, can I just come? Believe me, college is a scam. But guys, tell us about this. Like, do you feel college is a scam or is not? I don't believe college will help you. I don't believe college will help you. There are some of my friends that started doing drugs because they came to college. And yes, I, I believe nothing is perfect. Like, nothing is perfect. But guys, tell us about this. Do you like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. But